the pharmaceutical industry, Bueller has, Brigham has focused on making healthcare more accessible by harnessing the power of technology to deliver effective and tailored treatments. His vision for improving health outcomes has positioned him as a leader in modern patient-centered healthcare solutions. Brigham. Thank you for the introduction. Um, I'll start with this. I have heard so many times the healthcare system's broke. The healthcare system's broke. And I want to be clear as day. The healthcare system's not broke. It's rigged. And we're the ones fitting the bill. If we, if we look at what's happening in this country and we look at the chronic disease crisis that we're facing and you peel back the layers to the onion, you realize that the cost is much more than the dollars and cents. And we could get into the dollars and cents. I could tell you that healthcare is the number one budgetary concern for the federal government at 25%. It's in the top. It's the number one budgetary concern, concern for most states. It's the number one reason for bankruptcy in our nation for individuals. But the costs are much more dire than that. They're paid in human lives, loved ones, friends, and family. As the brother of a victim to the opioid crisis, the son to a victim of the diabetes crisis, and a sibling to a victim of the mental health crisis, I can tell you that the stakes are not only real, but they're personal. And I would implore you next time you have the privilege of having dinner with your family, look around the table and ask yourselves, when you look into their eyes, what you would give to have another year with that family member, another month of health and happiness and joy and memories and moments, because that was something that was taken from my family during the opioid crisis. Um, this is not a Republican issue. This is not a Democratic, Democrat issue. This is a humanity issue. If we really truly want to address the chronic disease crisis in this country, we have to start by preventing these diseases from occurring in the first place. In medicine, we often say that to properly treat or prevent a chronic disease, we must first understand the root cause of that disease. I believe the same principle applies to business and politics. To truly grasp what is driving chronic disease epidemic, we must understand the root cause of the crisis. There is a cancer in our healthcare system, and it is insidious and spreading rapidly. That cancer is big industry a broken system fueled by corruption and collusion. We cannot treat what we refuse to diagnose. I have personally witnessed physicians unable to run necessary lab tests, unable to prescribe appropriate medications, unable to even perform investigations into their pa patient's conditions to uncover their root cause. We hear people reference President Eisenhower's speech all the time about the military industrial complex, but rarely do we hear the second half of that speech. He also warned us about the rise of the scientific industrial complex. He warned us if we allow the elite to control the scientific research, it could have dire consequences. The statistics and the data that we are presenting today illustrate that very nightmare. How is it that Americans are so chronically ill despite spending more on healthcare than any other nation?